Live from across Northern California, this is Good Day. Well, with kids out of school, some parents can feel a bit overwhelmed for summer. We're joined now by author Danny DeNovo with tips on how parents can have a stress-free summer as well. Well, maybe, huh? <laughs> Hi, Danny. Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. How you been? I've been wonderful, thanks. All right. Well, summertime, are you stress-free since you're a parent? Yeah. So summer vacation is supposed to be fun and happy, ends up being stressful and laced with anxiety, and I want to change that for you. Okay. And let me tell you what you're doing wrong and why you're feeling that way. Okay. You are making your happiness reliant and dependent on some future event. And then after you've decided between this moment and whenever that future moment manifests, what you do is you sit and you wait and you anticipate that future event and you worry about that event. And that has you living somewhere out in the future and happiness is very much a product and a concept of the now. So this is what your summer vacation ends up looking like. Let's say you take your family to the beach and you wake up the first morning you're there Hopefully you get one uninterrupted cup of coffee, but soon the kids are up, right? Everybody's ready to go to the beach. So you can't find this one's goggles and you have to pack the floaties and you've got to remember the gluten-free snacks for this one. And you sunscreen <laughs> everybody up and you load everyone up. You're on the way to the beach and the whole way there, everyone's complaining that everything they're carrying is too heavy and it's hot outside. And through this whole process, all you think to yourself is, I can't wait till I get to the beach and I can sit down. When yeah. I can do that, then I'll be happy. And so you get to the beach and you get everything out and you fluff out the towels and you sit down and five minutes go by and guess what? A thought creeps in and you entertain it. And the thought goes something like, oh, the kids are gonna have to eat in an hour. I only brought <laughs> snacks and I'm gonna have to walk to the boardwalk that takes 15 minutes and then it's gonna prepare their food and then I've gotta walk back. So I might as well just leave now. And so you start off on this errand and the whole way on your errand, you think to yourself, I'll be happy when lunch is over. Right. And you do this to yourself all day long until you go to sleep and then you do it again automatically when you wake up the next morning. Okay. It's not entirely your fault because it's an addictive cycle. I call it the anticipatory reward cycle because you are surfing these waves of adrenaline and dopamine all day long, but our bodies are not made to handle that time after time. And then you become that crabby person you become right, burned wait, wait, wait. out. You, you got about yeah. a minute left to tell us how we're going to get in a good mood. You okay. just went you're through the whole do, thing and stressed me things. out. You're going to ask yourself two questions. You're going to do grounding questions, and then you're going to do your perception questions, right? So grounding, where is the emergency? Is it really a five alarm fire? And the one that I like to ask myself is, what did it feel like this morning when I kissed my baby girl today, right? That calms you down, brings you back to center in the present moment. And then you ask yourself things like, what am I trying to accomplish? Would it be the end of the world if it didn't get done today? Would it be the end of the world if it didn't get done in the manner in which I demand it be done? Because when you relinquish that death grip on the future and you come back to the present moment and see that's what you're doing to yourself, that is really the basis for real happiness. So it's all about perspective and, pers and seeing it in a mm -hmm. different way. All right, we'll try. <laughs> Train your brain We're gonna try. to come back to Train now. Train the brain. All right, more at dannydenovo.com. Awesome. If you want to reach out to her. Oh my gosh, you just stressed me out. Okay, but I'm going to relax now. Just relax. relax. All right. Is it going to matter? Thanks, Is it going to matter in five minutes? No, okay. actually, I can leave right now. <laughs> all right, there's a copy of her book there. Thank you. Get in a good mood and stay there.